if I don't, an innocent woman will die. Here, see for yourself. Who is she? Oh, you didn't say. That's Kathy Paul. I used to do the occasional surgery at Tarrytown Medical Center. Kathy was a, an OR nurse. That actually, do you have that other photo? Oh. Well, now I see it. That's Dr. Jack Weaver. He assisted me with the procedures. Man had terrible breath. Oh, I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Did anybody ever die on your table there? Only one. Uh, Amelia Wheaton, congenital heart defect. She never had the chance. Did you purposely kill her? I never hurt a patient on purpose. I followed the Hippocratic Oath to the letter. Albeit with one small asterisk. We've been looking for someone connected to your victims. But this killer is connected to one of your patients. And he blames Kathy, too. In, in his eyes, she's an accessory to murder. Uncle, what are we going to do? I just need a minute to think. We don't have a minute. A good woman dies so that a bad man can live? You know, I consulted on three operations. This week, three saved lives. I mean, maybe I'm the good person. You're not a good person. He tried to kill me when I was 10 years old. Oh. I found the girl. I learned what he was. And he wanted to silence me. Now, this is John Watkins. I told him this. He's taking the word of a serial killer over. Over who? A serial killer? You bastard. <sighs> yes, it's true. I took you up to the cabin to kill you. The chloroform had lost its efficacy, so I thought I'd nip it in the butt. But I couldn't bring myself to go through with it. That was my choice. And God knows I've been paying for it ever since. You made sure of that. I never imagined. My opinion of you could drop any lower. We're out of time. Well, the solution is clear. If this man told you to kill me, then kill me. What? You heard. I'm the villain here. The monster. So vanquish me. I hereby put myself on the chopping block. Don't be such a martyr. Come on, boy! Remember old Jeb Waller? What would he do? Who? Are you sure? 